Nice turnout, isn't it, Tank? Well, it's not every day the village idiot buries his car in the backyard. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually in mourning. Well, I don't know about you, but over here it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Ooh. Marcy, you're here. I'm touched. Well, I'm just glad that eyesore is finally gone. Now, if we can just find some place to bury your house. <laughs> How about the same place I'm about to bury my foot? You know, Al, my Mercedes sends her sympathy. She wanted to come, but the Bergman's Volvo is having a bar mitzvah. <laughs> Well, we've had some great times in this car. I think my favorite was the time we tried to run down my ex-wife. <laughs> she outran us, but the Dodge gave it her best shot. <laughs> Mrs. Peck Bundy would now like to say a few words. Thank you, Peg. My husband is a moron. Thank you. <laughs> See how you do when Oprah checks out. <laughs> 25 years ago, a young man of endless promise was going places. All he needed was a way to get there. He found it on a used car lot on Route 12. And through the years, the journey had some unexpected turns and some unwanted passengers. <laughs> There are several kinds of love. One kind of love begins with misplaced lust and degenerates into a raging hell of misery and despair. <laughs> but I digress. Then there's a kind of love that only turns on when asked and performs beautifully. The kind of love that makes you feel young when you go for a ride. Farewell, my sweet chariot of youth. Don't you think throwing dirt on the Dodge is a bit redundant? <laughs> Why? Why? 